This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaper Land. That was... Yeah, I mean, I got nothing. I'm, the wrong this, up, that's the wrong um, intro, man. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, <laughs> that's the Bones 5. The, it's, the, 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 uh, this is substitute mode, man. Roll, roll the Bones 5 live. Cool. There, look at that. That's there awesome. Go. There we go. That's more like it. Now it's more like it. Cool, all right, cool, thanks. Are we, hey, look at there. It's Ron Bat the Wombat. He's making his way over to, right over there, perfect. There he is. All right. That's where he is. Hi, everybody, is anybody on? Can y'all hear us, can y'all see us? No one's saying anything, no one's saying anything. <laughs> um, hi, everybody, it's the Bones 5 live update. Here it is Friday, another Friday. Uh, yeah, hi, y'all. Isn't it crazy? I'm here with Matt, Matt Clark. Um, Hi, Ron. Hi. Hawkins. How, how's it going, man? It's all right. <laughs> Matt's going to help walk me through this uh, through this Bones Five Live update today. Um, how's everybody doing? Uh, no one said anything. Collins, are you sure we're on? I don't think anyone's even watching. Yeah, maybe they just don't know what the hype button is, or maybe is there a Ron emote that they can use? Well, sure, there's. Yeah, a, there's got to be a Ron emote so that we know that we're for the Ron bat on. or something. Yeah, no one's seen that. They're, they're, everyone's got their own conversations going on. No one's even. Bothering to watch us. Uh, it's probably because I got the wrong one of these up. Because everybody in our chat is actually talking. <laughs> ah. Technical difficulties. Just hang in there. Look at that. There we go. There we go. You guys are here? Fine. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Hi, guys. Thanks yeah. for... Thanks for uh, for Did, tuning in. Now we were looking at the wrong at the wrong chat. Hey, look! Someone recognized my Tron shirt. <laughs> <laughs> there you ah. go. Chris here says. Chris here says, "What does Matt do? Painter, Reaper employee? What what do you do, Matt?" <laughs> there we go. That's <laughs> yeah. something that's a nutshell answer. right there. Yeah. I place a lot of orders to China. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Matt helps uh, kind of coordinates all the the orders that go into China and stuff like that. So. Um, I've written a lot of software. Yeah, he used to manage the warehouse. Uh, used, used to be to. our shipping manager and all kinds of stuff. Matt's done done quite a bit. Um, used to be a caster when I started. Yeah, he used to have a place called uh, a website called Matt's Minis. That's right. He used to paint. I was one of the first three or four people that painted miniatures as a service. You were a prolific painter at one point. Yeah, at one time. At one time, at not one a time. great painter, prolific. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, there you go, master of, Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, he's, Matt pretty much uh, is responsible for making all the orders to make sure they all, you know, tracking the orders, making sure they get shipped in, things like that, so. You guys probably also know me from the, uh, uh, the paint contests on the Reaper Group. Yes, yes. So before we get into the Bones 5 Live, let's talk about that just for a second. Okay. What's going on there? Well, it ends today at six o'clock. So six o'clock. You don't have much time left Central? to get yeah get yeah. your orders Central, in. Central, yeah. Get your Our time. Entries in. Yeah. What is the uh, model for this one? It was um, the tortoise from the tortoise in, in uh, Draymond. From and the Draymond uh, expansion. The dark elf. I can't remember her name. It starts with an S. Okay. It's the dark elf. <laughs> okay. From Bones One. Oh, Cheryl left the spider demoness. That one? No, 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 the, the elf with the mace. This is why Matt just places the orders. <laughs> right? This is the, this is the dark elf, the one that's used for the, the dark reach elf. It has kind of the thick hair. It's got like a feather <laughs> yeah. headdress. I, I it's don't a metal one. It's a metal, oh, it's a plastic one? It's bones. It's bones. bones. <laughs> okay, dark elf cleric. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Let's get this. Tier Delera, <laughs> dark elf cleric. Thanks, Lowhold. Oh, there you go. Thank Starts you very much. Starts with an S. I mean, a T. Yeah, sure. The sure. S is silent. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks so, for the sub. Yeah. Thanks for the sub. Hey, uh, tonight we're going to, uh, are we going to do something fun? We, cool? got, we got a couple of things that are going to happen, right? Okay. First, we have a bunch of gift subs that we need to give the community, and it just went up by one. And then the other thing that we're going to do. Because we're matching. Yeah. Because we're awesome like that. Yes. The other thing we have to do is because we've hit a certain goal, we have a gift to give away. Mm. So people need to be putting in hashtag sub in there order to be in the running. People are already doing that. Hashtag sub. So <laughs> the player crossroads says it is T-Ron and Matlock. <laughs> <laughs> so hashtag sub. We're going to match subs today and we've got a special gift we're going to give away later. All right. Right off the bat. This is called the Bones 5 Live Up. Do you know why? Because we're going to update you 
our Kickstarter backers, and even if you're not, you should be. But if you just want to see what's coming up, you know, in well, Bones. I do have a question, Ron. Let's say that I missed out on all the excitement that happened during the actual Kickstarter. Is there a way for me to get some of these fantastic miniatures? No, you're screwed. Oh, you missed no. Out. You missed out. You had yes. your chance. How we are very unforgiving. We don't let you get in. No, that's just not true, is it? No, it's not true. Okay. Uh, you can still jump into the Kickstarter. Um, all you have to do is go to the Reaper Pledge Manager. Is which, there a link for that? Yeah, you've okay. got it right there. Sure. Um, there's the Reaper Pledge Manager, and you can it's on our front page. Just go to the ReaperMiniFront.com front page. There's a little button that says, missed it, late backer, whatever it says, something like that. Uh, new backer, existing backer, log in. Go there, create an account if you don't have an account, log in. And um, you can jump into Boom. the Kickstarter. Link is now in the chat. Look at there. There's your pledge manager link right there. Um, so all this stuff. Now, we don't do exclusives. Uh, so the good thing is um, if you miss it, you're, you're not really missing out on anything. But uh, Except for some you're still going to be able to get in, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the savings is all you're missing on. Yeah, you missed out on the savings because the prices do go up if you're not a backer, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, the core set, that's the, that's the crux of, the, of, our, of our Kickstarters, is we'd always do a core set. We call it the Vampire Set during Bones 1, then we just switched over to this core set. Right. right. So, uh, the core set is almost finished. We almost have all the sculpting finished. There's one, I believe there's only one more piece left to do. And we're gonna, we have a, a, a preview, a work in progress preview of that, and it's the three heads. Okay. This is the, um, this is going to be the three-headed troll. You want to show that? You want to show that? Yeah. Oh, I built a slideshow based on John's uh, uh, guidance, so mm. which is going to throw what you want to do off. So let me just go ahead and drag this little yeah. heads in here. Yeah. We're going to go and go in a specific order. There you go. These these are the heads that Gene Van Horden sculpted for the three headed troll for the uh, the core set. This is the course the troll set. The, excuse me. The troll the three headed troll was a. Uh, Backer bonus, right? That, I mean, yeah, you know, it was one of the special bonuses. Yeah, this does look an awful lot like Ed, this Ron, is, and Dave. Not I really. Concur, yeah, it's supposed to dead be dead on. Good that job, That particular um, thing. So there, there is the rumor that in this, no, these are plastic. There is the rumor that for the metal release that we are going to have, have different heads put on. Um, that's what that's what we're saying. Um, <laughs> the, yeah, uh, Maldrick. Uh, so Ron at the right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> choose your just pick whatever whoever you want us to be that's who we'll be <laughs> um, so anyway that's the uh, that's by Gene Van Horn During, Gene's working on the body I've got a sort of a work in progress of the body but it was really nothing much to see so we didn't show that but these are the heads these are about the final forms for the heads they look like a lot of fun to paint yeah it's got all the cool little bumps on the tongues and the broken fangs and underbites and things like that it's really kind of funny so it'll be a lot of fun to paint. A lot of character. Lots there. of character. So yeah, once this piece is done, the course the core set sculpting is closed out. Wow, that's We're great. done. We're done. Um, and then we can move on. There's the Rombat. Here's what's funny to me. You know what's funny? Yeah, lots this, of things. This this right here. Yeah. Mubot? It kinda no. looks like Matt. No, that's not Mubot. Look at it. It kinda looks like you, Matt. Look on the screen. Look uh. at that. It's kind of it's <laughs> kind of look like you. Oh. That's kind of weird. I it's, I just noticed that. I was like, because he's <laughs> he's a little bit more yellow. Well, yeah, he's a little healthier looking than Matt. But I mean, it's <laughs> <laughs> um, it kind of I mean from this angle, I mean, he kind of kind of you're kind of got your profile. I'm not really I'm not really I'm not messing with you too much. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. It kind of does. I think a little bit. Whatever. I don't have that big bump on my head. You don't have that. You don't have that. Giant that's for sure. pimple. Giant pimple job. Yeah, that. it's kind of a weird thing to, kind of a weird mask. Um, okay, so that is the uh, the last piece for the corset, and after that, we're kind of we're kind of done uh, with the corset. So let's move on now. Yeah. We showed this last night. Uh, this is going to be the Bri for the Brian Wynn expansion. Okay. Christine Van Patten did the uh, Shrine to Marisaluth. You want the? Let's do the still. We showed this last night on Reaper Live, the JPEG. Um, the, this was, and we talked about it a little bit, saying how Christine had sculpted all these coins, and have you, have you found it? There we go. There it is. Zoop. There we go. That's very cool. It's really cool. Like I said, and we talked last night, if you didn't see it on Reaper Live, that the, we changed the base on it because uh, we felt like Marisaluth is an evil sea deity, sea goddess, and she protects, or she's the goddess of evil sea monsters and things like that. So pirates, evil sailors, who, anyone who wants to appease Marisaluth will come and leave offerings 
um, at this uh, shrine to, to Mary Sleuth. So um, there's some shackles. But what we thought was really cool is if Christine and I were talking about this, and uh, we thought if the, if the Mary Sleuth part was sculpted, imagine if it were sculpted in bronze, and then she's in this, this, this altar is sort of hidden in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, like an underground or a, a, a grotto or a cave that's wet. If you painted the rocks wet, and then you have the candles. See, there's some candles right there in the front of the, uh, the altar. To the um, right of mm-hmm. the shackles. See them right there by the shackles? If you could paint those with an OSL effect and have with the wet rock and like sea spray has got on the rocks, it would just make a really, really cool, really cool uh, painter's piece. I agree. I like these yes. eels. They're going to be really cool if someone could submerge it even. Yeah. Yeah, it'd make a great aquarium piece. This is going to be about a 54 millimeter tall piece from tip yeah. to tip. So pretty good size. Yeah. Uh, over a couple inches high. So last night we didn't have the turnaround. Now we've got a turnaround. So you can kind of see the back where we talked about the, uh, the coins. You can let's see if we can see the coins in the turnaround. There we go. So we've got it on a loop here. So you can see the skulls and you can see the coins there on the little shelves and, and things like that. Yeah, really cool. Very dynamic piece. Christine, a really, really nice job. I don't know how we're going to produce this thing, but it's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, so you could paint this as a, a character model, an actual living mini if you wanted to. It was designed as a statue or a shrine, but you know, once you get it, you can do with it what you want to. Um, uh, paint it however you think is, would be cool. As flesh, um, I think the official version is probably going to be more of a, a shrine like we in, had intended. Sure. So, But yeah, you could paint those as real eels. It's really, really cool. Designed by Izzy Collier by Talon. Uh, and like I said, Christine and I made a few changes to the base because we thought it was just a little too... Uh, it became kind of clunky in 3D. In 2D it looked really cool, but mm. it was a little clunky in 3D. So we, uh, we, made, some, we made some artistic uh, changes to it. But yeah, really, really happy with that. And guess what? With, I believe with this piece, we closed out the Brian Wynn expansion. All right, it's another one down. Wait, so the Sea Giant was, was done? The, this is for the Brinewood expansion, oh, okay. not the Darkest Depths. Darkest Depths still has the Sea Giant to go, and I, we had hoped to have a, a work in progress shot of that, but we didn't get that today. So anyway, that's really cool. Good job, Christine Van Patten. Good job, um, Izzy, on the, uh, the design. So It's going to really be fun cool. to paint. Uh, what the, where the hell wrong? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bug lips was on the wrong, wrong thing. Um, so, okay, so that's that. Um, let's show the other thing, which was the uh, scion. So uh, let's look at the, the, the Merid. You see that? It's just a, it's just a still. It's not a, it's not a turnaround. There we go. This is really cool. This is the uh, uh, elemental. These are the, one of the elemental signs. This is, this is the uh, water scion. Um, designed by Izzy Talon Collier again and sculpted by Jason Wiebe. Now, I think, G- Jason, I haven't talked yet. Jason, I know you're watching. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do the base as it is, but uh, if you can imagine, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Like I said, we, we, it was just the, I really just got the, um, the art right before the show. But super cool. Yeah, it is. Super cool. Um, we're probably going to end up having all the scions match as far as base and height and things like that. So the base may not be included as you see it, but don't worry. It'll, it's, you know, it's going to be really cool. And if you wanted to modify it to, to look like this and add a base, you can do that. But, um, yeah, really cool. I like I'm, the bubbles. The bubbles on the water. First, I thought it was maybe, a, it looked like a tentacle with suckers. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, it's water, and those are bubbles. Right. So it's going to look like... Uh, like water. But if you wanted to paint it as a weird tentacle, you certainly could. Yeah, yeah, it's not designed that way, but you certainly can. And Jason uh, went and got all the details that Izzy put into the art. The belt buckle, the potion bottle, the dagger, uh, all the, the embroidery on his vest. That's just a cool piece. Now this, oh, by the way, I want to tell everybody, this is not a finished piece. This is a work in progress piece. Um, Jason hasn't done the bracers yet. Uh, there are a few details left to go, so this is not final. So Jason wanted me to point that out to everybody. But I am super thrilled with this one because it's just so cool. looks really good. Yeah, he captured the art. Just, he just nailed it. This one might you paint, uh, this one you might uh, paint when it comes in? I haven't painted anything so long, it's depressing. Yeah? It really is. I'm in the middle of that <clears throat> larger resin uh, nether mall. Mm-hmm. I just 
got to finish it someday. Yeah, that's a big piece. Yeah. That's, a, that's an investment right there. Um, uh, Glenn wants to know how big will that model be once it's printed? Are we talking about the, the, uh, the Merit there, uh, Glenn? If that's the case, it's going to be about 72, 75 millimeters tall. Um, if you have the female genie and if you have the female Efreet from Bones 4, they're all going to match in size. So um, this is why I said it probably won't come on that base because that would make it significantly taller. You still want to get that, that floating effect. You know, mm -hmm. so, but you, at the same time, you can't really uh, make it too big. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't fit on the card very well. Yeah, there's all kinds of reasons for it. So, uh, it's super cool. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Good job, Weeby. There's Gwitty and Green's, Gwitty and Green is Jason Weeby, so you guys can uh, yell at Jason here online. But yeah, I'm thrilled with that piece. I'm super happy with it. I'm really, really happy with that. Now, that's, that's an option. That is one of the uh, uh, elemental scion options. We're, we've already showed... Um, the free, the male free, right? We've shown now we've shown the water, and then in the Kickstarter there was the the Earth Scion that was the only one left, and okay. she isn't finished yet. All right. So people were like, "Well, where's air? Where's air? Where's air?" Well, we weren't going to do air because we we already did a genie already last did time. Air, yeah. <laughs> so we're like, well, we need air. We got to have air. So finally, in the fan favorites expansion, I told Izzy, I said, "Izzy, fine. Let's we got to do air. We got to do air. So let's do air." So Bobby did the. Uh, Air Scion. This is the genie, and we didn't put it in the uh, options because that that option was closed, right? So what we did is we added the genie to the fan favorites expansion. And have you got that there, Collins? So uh, Bobby oh, yeah. Jackson did the genie, and I finished that. There he is. Look at that. Have you seen that yet? Yes. It, uh, once again, it, it, the models in this Kickstarter are are amazing. Yeah. So what we'll do is probably take that uh, the water scion and, and try to get the base very similar to, to the type of uh, base we have here on this guy. Um, so there will be some lift and some floating elements to it, mm -hmm. uh, but it'll look probably a little more in line with this. Jason's cool. just now hearing this for the first time because we have, I haven't talked to Jason about this. Right. So. Um, but yeah, I'm super thrilled with that. That that is those all these guys together are just going to be some of the best models Reapers ever put out. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're so cool. Looking Neat forward to seeing some Earth, Wind, and Fire. You're going to get it, man. You're going to get your Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, and Water while you're at Can it. We get the whole band. Yeah. The all the horns and everything. All of them together. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Got to have a little. Uh, just all those guys together have a cool little band. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I don't know what you can say about this. I mean, Bobby just did an amazing job. Again, this was designed by Izzy Talon Collier. Uh, Bobby just, Bobby took it and just, he just nailed it, man. Just nailed it. So, I mean, it's, that's some cool stuff. That's some cool stuff. I really like that. Um, people are going to say, well, the, the scales are going the wrong way on the, on the skirt. Look, that's the way Izzy designed it. That's the way we, Bobby sculpted it. So, Because he's air. Because he's air, man. Yeah. He can do what he wants to. Yeah. It's his life. Yeah, so next time someone says, that's not very realistic that his scales are going the wrong way. Well, Remind him it's a genie. It's, it is a blue guy from the plane, elemental plane of air. Air. He can do what he wants to do. <laughs> so, yeah, they're, they're uh, reversible mermaid scales. Well, maybe the air is blowing his skirt up. Yeah, maybe so. There and flip go. the scales the, the wrong scales way. Wrong sure, way. sure. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, so there's, that's a lot of really cool stuff we've got um, from Bones 5. Um, what else you got there, Collins, from Bones 5? Oh, we got the map. Let's talk about that for a second. So, let's show this. So, you can download these maps from the Reaper Pledge Manager. Now, Kit put up the maps. I said, Kit, I need these maps to be able to put up. You've got to just go click on the page and download them, right? Right. And then you put them up. I said, well, Kit, hold on. I don't want you to turn that on to the 20th because that's when the update is. And I want to make, kind of make a surprise big deal out of this. So I go and check the page before um, mm -hmm. we came on, and he had taken it down and had not put it back up. Yeah. So I send him a message, a kit, can you put these maps up? Because I need this to work for the Bones 5 <laughs> Live update. And I don't think it's up yet. Uh, it is. It was working the other day because I downloaded all the maps. It worked fine. But I don't know if it's working now. The, the link is, I think, www.reapermanager.com. No, it's not. It's pm.reapermanager.com slash maps. I, yeah, plan of crossroads. I don't think you're going to have them uh, yet. They're going to get on there. They're, if they should be on there tonight, um, I've sent them a message. Asked, them, asked, okay, it's not up. I got it. You guys, you're right. It's not up. 
It didn't work when, when I was testing it before I came in here. But all six maps are on there. You will be able to download these hopefully tonight. Um, if not, sometime soon. Really, really, really soon. Not Reaper soon, like immediate soon. All kids got to do is just, it's, I believe it's uh, pm.reapermina.com. I don't know. It's this isn't logged in, so I can't even go. Okay. So I have to log in. To it's it's not working, Planner Crossroads, so don't even try it. Uh, kids got to just activate the page. So uh, once that's done, but if you keep looking this weekend, um, it'll pop up. He's just got to, kids just got to activate it or just make it, make the link live. Um, and you'll be able to download all the maps. They're all unfettered. No writing, no text, just like this you see here. This is map number one. Um, so you've got the roads, all the shading that Gene did, uh, all the, the little icons, super cool little maps. It's not Reaper soon. It's actual real human time soon. <laughs> Even the wombat says it's going to happen soon. very, very soon. See, what I really soon. like right, is when you say that, the wombat shakes his little head like it's... Mm. No, yeah. he's, nah. he's saying, he's saying, Kit, I can't believe you did that. Yeah. Can't believe you took it down. Um, so they're coming. So they are coming. So we'll we will uh, get those going. Um, what else that's Kickstarter related? You got their Collins. Um, starts with a D. D R O. Yep. Nope. 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 All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you know the Bones Black Portrait. What? Uh, the yeah. other weeby piece that you should. Sure, that. we can talk about that. This is not in the Kickstarter. Uh, but these are some of the things that we, that, like I said, these were pieces that Jason sculpted that didn't make it to the Kickstarter per se. They may make it as uh, an add-on in the Pledge Manager. Power up. What do you think about these guys, Matthew? <sighs> they are extremely well done. They are extremely well done. They're super cool. Yeah, I especially like the dodo. The dodo, so, yeah. So what this is, uh, Weeby had, had pitched me, said, you really need a mascot for Bones Black. He said, "You need a pirate, a known pirate by the name of Bone. His name's his name is Bones Black, and he's got a dodo animal. Weeby's on here somewhere. He can probably tell he's, us more. I'm excited about these. We, Weeby, he was like, you need to do like this, and so he goes, and he's got a dodo familiar and and a gnome. And I think the gnome was kind of uh, Jason. Jason can probably tell us, but I believe that Jason was going to do a series of gnomes for Bones Five, and it didn't happen. Didn't fall through." Um, so he we, he had kind of added on this like well this is a cool little set of um, of gnome pirates and dodos and stuff like that, um, tons of character in Bones Black there, yeah, Bones Black uh, the character and with the dodo animal companion that's just really cool. How could we not put these out right? There you go. How could we not put these out? Um, I don't know what the uh, necklace on the dodo is called, but it looks like the um, kind of the Asian I don't know what they're called. It's not a lot. Oh, the, the Buddhist prayer beads? Yeah, kind of like the, the big necklaces things. Um, they're super cool. So maybe we'll add these to the pl pledge manager. If you guys want them, let us know here in the comments. And yeah, let's see some, like, um, I don't know, know, an emote or, uh, or something cool to kind of yeah. let, let uh, Ron and Matt know that you're really excited about these guys. So people keep asking about the Dreadmere source book as well. Well, here's the thing Joseph Wolf is the writer of the Dreadmere camp campaign setting. Joseph works about 60 hours a week at a full time job. In, out in San Francisco, he's been trying to get back to it, um, but he has just been swamped at work, so he hasn't been had a chance to, to do do much with it. But you know, he he told me he is going to be working on. It. He's having to work from home now, like so many people are, and so he's thinking he's going to have some more spare time to uh, to write more Dreadmare stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So um, let's see. So we did the Scions. We did the uh, the Shrine of Mary. Uh, we have some stuff from uh, one from from I guess it's either Julie or Bob. That's it. That's it. Now this is for the uh, Darkest Depths expansion. These would are. You, would you like to do the Boss Man or the other two? Yeah, the, the other three. Okay. Now some of these you've already seen, but let's go ahead and show those. That's who we're forgetting. Oh jeez. That's okay. You can leave it up. You can cover us up. Uh, these are the Slith from the um, uh, Darkest Depths expansion. So we've shown you the Priestess, the Swimming Priestess, and the and the uh, uh, Spearman already. So they're a little bit more final in this form. Uh, then you can see in the middle you've got the crossbowman, which we didn't have even a piece of concept or art for in the in the Kickstarter. Oh really? These yeah. Guys, these guys land creatures, land land monsters, no, or sea monsters. No, Collins, these are sea monsters. These are sea monsters. That's the priestess is kind of floating. We yeah. thought it would be really cool. When Izzy designed the character, which he did a thumbnail of, of her floating, like she was casting a spell. 
and so I liked it so much, but we, we felt like the, the other ones should probably be firmly planted on the, on the, on terra firma, on the, on the base, on the table. Yeah. When you're, so if you're playing a tabletop game or an RPG and you want to have your miniatures yeah. facing off, they, they're kind of better off just sort of on the ground, eye to eye. So we put these two on the ground. Um, the tail on the middle one is still a work in progress, but the, uh, the spearmen and the, the priestess are pretty much final, I believe. Jo- I don't know if Bob and Julie are on watching. Uh, green green stuff users. I haven't been watching to know. Sorry, they watched the last show. They but they uh, I don't know if they're watching now. Anyway, I love those guys. They're fantastic. Uh, super cool. Super cool slith. Yeah, the slith are going to be used as uh, for any any kind of role playing underwater creature. You can use them as Sahagan and D and D. They're just they're your underwater creature from the Black Lagoon overall like bad guys. Your orcs of the water. They are. They're, yeah. they're like your Sahagan. They're like your orcs of, orcs of the sea, Collins. Orcs of the sea. So there's those three. And then we have one more. This is the boss. There he is. Um, and the tail is a work in progress in this one as well. Um, and he's a pretty chunky dude. He's, he's bigger than the other characters. So he's going to squash Sir Forscale, I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> really cool piece. He's got the you know his his the forearms. He's got the two holding the the, the trident and then the one arm out. I th- I'm going to talk to Julie about the hand um, instead of doing the Heisman. Maybe do a pointing or a clawing. Some maybe just change the fingers on that one. Yeah. Um, and the other hand you can see there is holding the, the dagger on his belt. But really cool, really really cool. This is like I said, this is a work in progress. It's not finished yet. Julie's got a lot of details and some some finished work to put on this guy. But this is pretty much what he's going to look like. So really, really happy to see. It's got to be a lot of fun, especially if the trident comes in a separate piece so that you can uh, paint on the, the crest on the, the actual armor. Yeah. We'll see what happens when it, when it comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but really happy with the design. Izzy did a great job on the designs. Uh, Julie did an amazing job on the sculpting. So, you know, that's just, uh, that's like peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, the kitty cat. cares. Excuse me? The kitty cat. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. Let's show that guy. We showed this last night as well. This is the Rakshasa. We went and took the Rakshasa from Bones, uh, the, the fan favorites. Did you see this last night? No, I didn't. And so, um, kind of redesigned it. Felt like the one in the fan favorites was not, wasn't menacing enough. Um, <clears throat> it was a female Rakshasa sorceress. And I, I felt it should be a little more, you know, it's our first Rakshasa. We've never done a Rakshasa before. Right, and so I wanted to have a really kind of a cool, menacing, aggressive, more aggressive looking Rakshasa. Sure. So talked to Izzy, and she redesigned the Rakshasa to look like this. The hands are correct. The hands are backwards. That's they're backwards on purpose. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they the Rakshasas have backwards. Their their hands work. They work the opposite way. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's really weird. That's why it looks backwards yeah. because they're supposed to be backwards. I, I didn't want to say anything. It's mythological. <laughs> that was, that was the best. Like, you know what? I think I'm just going to let this slide. No one's. Not. Uh, yes, uh, Maldrake H. Um, Rakshasa should have smoking jackets and pipes. Yes, he's already taken his smoking jacket and his pipe out of his mouth. He's about to kick some ass. He's tired <laughs> of smoking. He's out of tobacco. He's ready to kick some ass. All on a bubble gum. Um, uh, Al Bavazin says that's an awesome Tron shirt. He said oh, she had that shirt. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, mm. So Xanatonium, the female, she uh, says, I hope the female will be available at some point also. It's a very good chance that they will both be available very, very soon. Um, Christine Van Patten is working on, this, on the, uh, the Rakshasa here. Um, Tez and Lynch made a good point. We probably need to warn people ahead of time, either on the package or just in general. Because we're going to get a, a non-zero number of people going, oh, mine was broken. The hands are backwards. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Somebody glued the hands on wrong. Jason's voted Trampier style. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. Rakshasa and the David Trampier style. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be weird. People are going to go, oh, oh, yeah, my hands are backwards. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. A- as intended. Working as intended. As intended. Yeah, so Rakshasas are ad, out of Indian mythology. He is, know, myth, he is mythologically correct. You know what the bigger problem is? What? You're probably going to have to have them over there if you're doing this in plastic. 
remind them that the hands are supposed to be opposite. Because well, I'll put them on their own I'm way. hoping the hands won't be separate. We're gonna, Christine's going to work on it, uh, make it so that the hand does not have to be cast as a separate piece. Right. That's the hope. So we'll make some adjustments there. For example, like the dagger sticking out like that, we'll probably have to reposition it somewhat so that it doesn't look, it's not becoming a problem. Uh, you know, there's no need for that to be a separate piece. But. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> That's the way it's going to look. And I'm, for one, Every, love it. Everybody I know has a big butt. <laughs> so uh, I, I love the Rakshasa. Christine Van Patten's working yeah, on it right now. I'm really super, cool super happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. He does have six, nip, six nipples, too. Did you see that? Yeah. No, I didn't pay attention. Oh. No, that's cool. Right here. Six, well, six. six. Count them. There you go. Yeah, three on this side and two on the well, left. Two. One's covered by his belt. Yeah. 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 But I love the detail in the necklace, and I'm, I'm hoping Christine Van Patten, she's watching. There she is. Rainbow Sculptor. This is a cool one. This is a cool, is one. A cool one. Plan a crossroads? Probably so. We can. Can we have the male and the female? Yeah, probably so. Probably so. Hey, um, um, well, Ron, I would like to use this opportunity to um, give our gift matching subs Let's away. do it. Is that okay? Can Let's do, do it. All right. Let's do it. So we're going to give away how many? Um, 99. 99 subs right now. Here they come. Oh, Christine, you're sending me updates. Well, while Collins is doing the uh, subscription thing, let me look at my phone here and... I don't have anything from you. Boom, boom, Christine. there it goes. Look at it goes. It goes. Look at all those. So there you go. Many. So many. Look at that. So what we like to play here. 99 subscriptions? Yes. Fantastic. 99 gift subs. 99 gift subs. That's cool. That's really cool. Like I said, we're just matching what you guys do. So that's really great. Hey, when do you want to go over the big super secret prize? You know, I figure if you've got something special you want to show, we can do it right before that. Okay. I think we're kind of, we've made it pretty much through the updates. Is there anything else? I know there's a few other turnarounds. We have some turnarounds that we haven't covered, and we have a troll that we haven't covered. Um, and then, we have you know, A and B that hasn't been covered. Also by Mr. Reapy. Oh, we covered yeah. it last. You know, you guys have already. Ago. So yeah, if you yeah. saw, if you watch Reaperland with John and Dave, you've already seen this. Let's go show A and B. Um, so there we go. What is that? It's a stack of toilet paper. It is. It's a stack of toilet paper. Who doesn't need a stack of toilet? Everybody paper? Everybody needs a stack of toilet paper structure? now, right? Absolutely. Oh, but wait. Whoa, wait. Oh, wait a minute. There's more. It's a mimic. I'm sorry, a mocking beast. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. There's the. Um, there's the, the, this was by Jason Weeby. I, I literally, last night before the other show, I said, Weeby, can you do a toilet paper mimic? He's like, yep, hold my beer. And so he just, <laughs> whop, did a, a cool toilet paper mimic. So this is one of the options we have for the toilet paper mimic. I talked to Weeby right before the show, right? Cranston snored, we are flush with TP. Uh, that we're, he's working on just a single roll I'm, I am really excited about this single roll situation. That's going to be so much fun. So he's working on that. It'll, and, it, and what Weeby had said to me was, like, it'll be at a scale. I said, I don't care. It's not it's supposed to be a roll of scale toilet paper. Oh, what? No, <laughs> Weeby. Want... Yeah, to scale. I want the sucker no, to be itty bitty. Scale. Yeah, not no to... base. Can you imagine? You can put that anywhere. You could, on every model. It's not gonna, it's, I don't think it's going to have a base, but it's going to be a fun. It's just for fun, right? So it's going to be at the size of a, about an inch roll. Right. And one side's you know, smooth or, or pillowed, well, he make quilted. You should make it one to one. Right? Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> um, and then uh, put it on your toilet roll. Oh wow, that'd be oh, so huge. I'd be so big. We Weeby says in my mail. Uh oh, let's see what we got here. Spaghetti. -o. Carry on, Matt. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> what would you if you had oh. a full like two scale version of this toilet paper mimic, Matt? Where would you place it? Well, I'd, I'd start with, you know, putting it on the roll like it belongs in, in, <laughs> that would be in the bathroom mm -hmm. or on the back of the toilet, you know. In-law comes in to go and just like reach to grab it. <laughs> okay, I will. Hey, Weeby. Uh, oh, that's great. Justin Weeby, at ReaperMania.com. Weeby, yeah, forward. Send that to Justin at ReaperMania.com and we'll put that up. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Yeah. There is your single right there. Hold <clears> you guys <throat> sit tight for a minute. No pun intended. And we'll get your toilet paper to you. Um, <laughs> also, uh, Bobby Jackson is working on another little secret, little miniature, um, something to sort of, kind of, pass the time while we're all sort of, in these weird, uncertain times. Um, yeah, well, what would that be, Ron? Uh, Are you going to tell us? Fridays, 
Fridays in general. You just gonna sculpt Friday? Your weekends? No, just, just past your weekends. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, so while Ju- while Weeby works on that, did he send it to you yet? Uh, no, it's okay. Cool. Weeby send that to Justin at Reaperina.com, and we'll put it up here on the on the thing. Uh, Jason Zoda, we need a wombat mini. You may get a wombat mini. Who knows? Uh, Vigos peeps, how soon should uh, could we buy the TP mimic? Just hang on, hang on. We just got it. We just got <laughs> Baby it sculpted. Steps. Baby it literally steps. just came in the thing today. So aware pangolin says Corby, eighteen eighty three. There you go. Um, yeah, all right, so we I, we great y'all have tons of great ideas. You always guys. Sophie on a throne of TP. There's another one. Right. We we thought about surf, uh, Sophie as a nurse. Um, right well, that would have been so, really good. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are going on right now, um, but yeah. Uh, Rings raccoon wear raccoons. We have a, a kind of a, a raccoony looking wear raccoon in the fan favorites for Bones Five. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. If you want to, we're going to show you some stuff that's not. So the Bones Five relate. The Bones Five update, I think, is done, right? As far as the Bones Five, look at there. There it is. There you go. There's your single roll TP. Mocking beast. God, that'd be so hilarious if it was to scale too. Yeah, to scale. Yeah, that's hilarious, Weeby. That's great. That's really great. Uh, we got it, Weeby. We got it. There it is up there on the thing. Um, to scale, <laughs> whatever. The wombat would crush it and devour it, though. <laughs> um, so, Cranky Dog seventy one. You like the pile? They they prefer the uh, pile of rolls. Maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll do both. You yeah, never know. Why not? We can do what we want to. You know why? Because we're Reaper damn miniatures. That's right. Um, so, uh, so yeah, you guys just uh, keep watching. Keep watching. We'll have news of the uh, all the TP next week. <clears throat> yeah. Gonna leave a lot of fun stuff. Like I said, Bobby is working on some stuff right now, too, for you guys. Uh, so some more, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, we can... Look, these are going to be in metal. They're not going to be in plastic because by the time they come into plastic, it's going to be six months from now. Yeah. And you know, I don't know what's going to be like at that time. So these are going to be in metal. Uh, so they can't be too big because they're going to be very expensive. So, yeah. So we have Weeby as a sculptor. Thank God because there we go. Um, so, th- like I said, that's for, for the Bones 5 proper update, I believe. I don't think there's anything else for Bones 5. Wait, I mean, again, I have a... Um, well, I guess... The, the guy wasn't the guy trying to turn around. That's not a part of Bones 5. Nope. Okay. So now we have other stuff that we want to show you guys that's part of future upcoming projects. I don't, you know, we show, for example, the horse from last night. Let's show oh, that. Yeah. The Nightmare. Yeah. If you guys didn't see this last night, this is the Nightmare that Chris Lewis sculpted. Um, there you go. I don't, have you guys seen this? Yeah, we're going to show the Nightmare right now. Um, mm. When will this come out? Don't know. Don't know. But you guys check this out. It's super cool. It is very cool. <laughs> It's all that I expected. Matt has been up my butt about the nightmare, doing a nightmare in this pose for about, I don't know, about 10, at least 10 years, yeah, if been, not it's, longer. It's been at least 10 years. So he's like, hey, let's do a nightmare like this, Ron. It's like, okay, we'll get to it. We finally, finally got to it. It's super cool. It is cool. Um, I know people are going to say, well, nightmares don't have wings. Really? Okay. Leave them off. Fill them in. Whatever you want to do. Uh, very cool. I, Vexar, Bone Six, all nipples. I, did I say that? I don't remember. Actually I don't. I don't recall that. that exactly being said, but uh, it gets my thumbs up. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, flaming mane, flaming hooves, uh, uh, flaming tail. Really cool. Chris Lewis did this, and he did an amazing job. You're a really cool Pokemon. The important part of this that I really push was pushing for was the fact it's off the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And flying. So many nightmares are not. You make a very good point. Yeah. I mean. Josie RK, will it be metal or bones? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, it's coming soon. It, it could, it maybe metal, maybe bones, maybe both. We just don't know. You know, it looks like a pretty good uh, starting point for bones six. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I didn't say that. Um, so yeah, good job. So let's show the wizard from last night too. This uh, I is, believe it is a sorcerer. Excuse me. Uh, this is the evil sorcerer from the crypt of the. Sor- it's not from crypt of the sorcerer. Uh, the old caverns of doom game from Heritage Ministers had an add-on called Crypt of the Sorcerer, where you would go into this little section, and then there was the the evil sorcerer. This piece is inspired by the evil sorcerer from Heritage Ministers in 1983. Um, 
or maybe even earlier than that. And so Bobby uh, took this, used the inspiration to create the Sorcerer. The spell effect and everything. And I love, yeah, bare, barefoot and casting at the same time. So, um, this is not, there's no claws. Well, his fingers kind of got little I don't know why you keep calling them bare feet. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. See? Wow. Holding the club. Wow. Uh, uh, foot, foot trouble says holding the club by the wrong end. Uh-huh. Yeah, we got it. I know. Uh, Valandar the Red, no, the original art was not by Larry Elmore. Um, this was based on uh, the design by Dave Helber, Max Carr. I'm not sure who did this back in back a long time ago. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, based on an old heritage design. With the skull, if you look at the old hair, you'll have to go online and look up Heritage Miniatures Crypt of the Sorcerer and you'll find this, this old miniature design with the skull in the base and the spell effect and everything. Really so cool. I'm really assuming cool. you're releasing this in metal probably? So this was going to, this is the ReaperCon Dungeon Dweller Mini. So if you come to ReaperCon and you get a swag bag, the free, dare to, the free Dungeon Dweller Mini is okay. this guy right here. You're going to get this free for coming to ReaperCon and getting a swag bag. So no, I was just curious. He'll be in metal. Plastic could be cool to do that. He is going to be in effect is exactly. Clear. He'll be in metal for sure, uh, but I would imagine that he would be in plastic and bones black at some point. Yes. W. There's no way we can't we, we can't not do this guy in plastic. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I'm going to put a link in chat. Um, there he is. It's not our link, so uh, take it at your own risk. Okay. Is this for the original sculpt? Yeah. It's the it's a picture of him in metal, and wow. Yeah. It's the same same concept. Can you can you not copy that picture and read? Okay, well Collins works on that. So there we go. So yeah, it's some it is some old school love Walt Bledsaw. Uh, some good stuff. Just because I say at some point doesn't mean bone six. It could be metal, it could be anything. You know, at some point we're gonna do figures in plastic that weren't part of Bones Five or Bar or I was gonna say bone six. They just be, you know, future plastic releases. Right. So just hang in there. Yes, yeah, just just wait. You'll get your stuff. You're gonna get. We're gonna get your stuff to you. The caverns of doom and crypt. Uh, Carowin 1967 says caverns and crypt help me make help make me the geek that I am today. Yep. That's how I got my start. Is there it is. Look at there. They're exactly the same. I don't see any difference. <laughs> They're exactly wow. the same. It's hard to look back at those days. I know. Well, I believe Max Carr sculpted this and. Uh, David Campbell on the side. Oh, of David Campbell. Bomber. Okay. Yeah. yeah. At, least, well, at least copyrighted that way. I think David uh, David runs the website for okay. uh, for for uh, Dungeon Dwellers. I mean, so. at the time the stuff was great, but looking back now, it's... with technology, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Well, Huge just, difference. Yeah. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. So super super happy with uh, Bobby sculpting the way that turned out. Okay. Uh, let's see. What you got there, Collins? We'll just sort of go through them now. and uh, We'll go back to the guy I tried to show earlier. All right. So this is a droke. And people are like, what the hell is a droke? That's not in the Monster Manual. Well, because we made this up. Yeah. Um, it was a throwaway word uh, that... And you know what? Someone may come up and say, no, a droke's in actual mythology. I, I don't know. But I thought it was a, a throwaway word. That a droke was... In our little Reaper campaign world, the drokes are these uh, creatures... Almost kind of a they're they're like fae, and they sort of live in the highlands, uh, and they are uh, kind of stone fae. If you're if you're prepared, Ron, I have the definition according to Google of droke. Really, what is yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it's it's Canadian. Um, okay. It is a valley with steeply sloping sides. This is not what I'm talking about. All this right. is something different. I'll tell you about drokes later. All right. But anyway, this is a droke sculpted up by Bobby. Um, and these are like they're basically like highland fae evil things, and they eat people and they do all sorts of nasty things but uh, we're going to um, have a few more drokes at some point and these will be out at some point as well in some future project maybe in metal maybe in plastic I don't know uh, but it, and we'll do a few of these in different iterations you must so. be droking I am not droking <laughs> I can't help the puns I'm sorry see Skull Taffy's already beat you to it uh, it's it's a droke not a grook nor a drock uh, it's just cool it's just cool it's just a neat thing and Joseph Wolf was even working on some stats for it for you for you guys to use in your role playing games. Um, what's he got in his fancy bag? I think bones and body parts to eat. They eat people. It's so. a nice little man purse, though. Yeah, he's what? cool. He's uh, cool. And like I said, they are fae. Spell droke for me. D R O K E. Okay, I've, it might have been O A K. Yeah, O A O A K. O A K. No, no, just O K E. Okay. 
There we go. So there we go. There's some cool stuff there. And I'm, is that it? We got anything else there? Um, that is it for turns because we did the drope, we did the sorcerer. All the, the stills? Mm -hmm. um, stills, we did the cat, we did the map, we did the forger, we did the shrine. Cat? Oh, the trolls. Trolls are what we're missing. Troll number one. Oh, okay. Now this is, uh, so I, we may have shown this on a previous update or a previous sh live show. Uh, Proctor took the um, the uh, river troll from the from the bridge or the bridge troll from the bridge trolls toll option from Bones Five, and he took the troll and he painted it. And I thought, you know, we've got the the, the images. Let's go ahead and show them. Let's show the other. Let's show the backside too. Thank you, Sharky, for the continue of the sub. We appreciate it. Um, and then uh, as a reminder, as I pull these other ones in here, um, hashtag sub, folks. Make sure you get it in there. We'll be doing that giveaway by the time we close out here. There we go. Yeah, hashtag sub. There we go. And then one more. It's going to be the backside there. And, of course, Proctor with his, um, his texture of uh, putting dots on it. Um, I forget what he's got. He teaches a class on this at ReaperCon. Where he can show you this technique. Um, stipling, stippling. It's not stippling so much. It's just he has a, speci a specific way of doing it. It's like a kind of. It's basically pointillism, but um, he calls it something else. Um, so this was sculpted by Bobby Jackson. This is the Bridge Trolls Toll. This is the troll from the Bridge Trolls Toll. An option in the Bone Side Kickstarter. And like I said, we had the painted image, so I wanted to show it. And if we showed it already, sorry. Bonus. But it's too cool not to show yeah. again. Well done. Yeah. Proctor did a great job. Bobby did a great job. Blah, blah, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, really happy with all those. And I reckon, I think that, have we gone through the entire folder there? That was everything that's in my folder. Everything in the folder. I think that was it. That was a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, What'd you absolutely. Think? I, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Solid ending. Well, hey, you know, I got something to live it up, right? All right. What we're going to do is we're going to draw this name. Okay. And when we draw this name, they're going to get a bunch of cool stuff. A bunch of cool stuff, right? Okay. Oh, like, like, like a top 100 of stuff? Yeah, like some cool number that they tell people all the time, but as a sub, I don't remember. I don't have <laughs> the box under here. No, I think we. I think of the things that finally got cleaned out of here, that was one of them. Ah, okay. So, yeah, for this person, we're going to draw this name, and they're going to win a box full of Reaper miniatures. Yes. A lot of them. Yes. Now, um, Matt, could you tell us what these people are supposed to do in order to collect that? Me? Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. Okay, all right. right. <laughs> so what they're going to do, Matt? They, they, they use their name, username, uh -huh. and Ooh, yeah. they have to use exact characters and capitals and everything. Yeah, we'd prefer that. Case-sensitive works. you got to send it to ReaperLive. Uh, uh, ReaperLive Reaper at ReaperMini.com. Reaper .com. Reaper all right. ReaperLive.com. And like you said, like Matt said, what else they got to have? If they want to get this box of stuff, I have no clue. If, if they have to, point. they have to give their address. Yeah, yeah. An address would be good. Otherwise, it's hard to send it. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, it goes straight to my office. Right. Yeah, never to be seen again. Um, That's a shipping address, by <laughs> well, the way. Yeah, to be yeah. fair, we just put Matt on the spot there. Uh, he wouldn't <laughs> expect that. Uh, but yeah, like Matt said, you use your re your your Twitch handle. Put it in the subject line. Uh, you put it in the body of the email. Put it. You can't give us too much information. Correct. Right? I mean, if you yeah. if you want to make sure it gets to you, give us everything that we need to identify you as the person, aka the winner, and how to get you something in real life. We can't, you know, ideally all like your real name and all that kind of stuff, so that whoever signs for it, all that fun stuff. Uh, City Pig nineteen ninety six says, if we enter during Reaperland, do we need to enter again? Um, technically no, but it never hurts to never push hurts. hashtags up. Right. Yeah. All it can do is not respond to you. Yeah. So that's hashtag sub. Oh, we've already done that. We've already done our subs. All right. This is the gift for hashtag what? Um, hashtag sub is for this giveaway. This is for the same giveaway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So whenever you're ready, everybody get your thing in because we're Collins is about to push the button. Yeah. So before I push that button, Ron, do you want to cover what all of our other shows are? Or um, Matt, if you would like to cover it, uh, I'll help. Okay. <laughs> well, here we go. We're off the top. Now look, we have a cheat sheet for you. We'll go over this real quick. Okay. You go first. All right. On Mondays, we have Toolbox, and uh, it's Pro Tips. And that's at 11 a.m. And then we have Miniature Mondays featuring uh, miniature Mini Painting Studios at 3 p.m. That's Ann at, Ann at 11, and then Josh Davis at 3. All right. And then Tuesdays is Reaper Toolbox Pro Tips with Ann at 11 again. 
And then Train Tuesday at 3 p.m. Who's Who does that show? As far as I know, Ed does that as show. Ed does that show. Has That's he started it. something other than the trebuchet yet? Um, the pile of stuff in front of you was him, oh, in here? theory, going to do basing, but then I think that conversation, that episode turned okay. into talking about okay. him. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Wednesday, same thing again, right? Reaper Toolbox, Pro Tips, yeah. Ann Forster, 11 o'clock, followed by Reaper Toolbox Live at 3 p.m. That's with Ann as well. Okay. And then Thursday is Reaper Toolbox at 11. With? With the N, I'm assuming. There you go. And then uh, at 3 p.m., it's uh, painting, platinum. painting Platinum. With? With Mercedes. With Mercedes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's at 6 p.m. That's at 3. Really? Oh, yeah, it does say 6 Because it's <laughs> Reaper Live at 6 p.m. That's the, that, the, you know what Reaper Live is at 6? That's the most kick-ass show on our Twitch stream. Our Twitch well, I think the last time Next. you told me that it was the number one show on... Uh, Twitch. Twitch. I think it is. Yeah. Just, just I, period of, on all, all the time. Twitch. All, all Twitch. Twitch. All Twitch. Number one. Okay. I may have to check my numbers, but that's what my mom said. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, our website's in the top 1%. Why not? Sure. See? And Reaper Live is top 1% too. Right. Top. It's just top one. Um, then <laughs> Friday, we have Reaper Land with John and Dave at three. And then every, every, every other Friday, it's Bones 5 Live at four with... Uh, me and a guest hostess, like I said, this week it's Matt. It's been Ed before. It's been John before. Um, the next show is going to be uh, the first Friday in April, which is, whoever's got their calendar can probably go ahead and tell us what that is. Mm, the third. The third, April 3rd. So it's it's a... It's Don't... A, every, it's not next week, but the week after. Don't Mind Me says, Reaper Live was better when they had a joke off. <laughs> I have a joke. I do have a joke. Oh, okay, we can kill this, okay. kill that screen. Do y'all want a joke, or do you want me to save it for Reaper Live? We're gonna need, we're gonna need some laughy faces in the emote section if we want to hear some jokes. <laughs> gonna need to see some old laughy faces while Ron preps his yeah. audience for this. Let me, this banger. So Ed told a joke last night on Reaper Live, right? Do y'all remember that? Do you remember the joke? Yeah, it was actually it wasn't terrible. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. I, this is worse. <sighs> this is even worse than that. Um, Okay, you ready? All right, so oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch a lot of hell for this. Uh, how did the cat like his steak cooked? Um, I don't know, Ron. How did the cat like to have its cake steak cooked? Cake. Rare. <laughs> God, Dean. <laughs> really? God. Oh my God. <laughs> my soul. That's a joke. That's how you tell a joke no. right there. Let me do it again. That's how you lose audience. How did the, how did the cat like his steak cooked? Rare. <laughs> no, no, no. Not bad. You people saying bad, not even bad. You know it's good. You're laughing at home. I don't want to hear this crap. I want to hear nothing. I want to see nothing but laugh emotes. Hey, you people are just being, you're just being hard on me is all you're doing. That's hilarious. That is damn funny. I can't, I heard that joke I think last you time. should stick to drokes. A droke? Oh my gosh. No. That made it worse. <laughs> so bad. See? All right, I, I oh, have Bishop Odo, Ed one, dude. Okay, no, I don't know, no. man. That's so no. You guys know it was a funny joke. You know it was a funny joke. Y'all are just just being like that on purpose. Oh, I like this crying See? face that Glenn, Taz put on there. That's genius. Glenn Harris has got great taste in jokes. Um, <laughs> all right, what? I have the winner. I have the winner. So funny. And we can announce That's the winner. Funny. Fine, fine. And then I can get away from fine. these horrible jokes. <laughs> if y'all say that it was a funny joke, we'll give this prize away. Uh, okay. sorry, sorry, guys, no prize. Thanks, and Aaron Ellendale. Ron's joke rules. Thank you very much. Mm. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Da -da -da. And our winner is <laughs> Rignus44. It's in the chat. Rignus44. Congratulations on winning some amazing miniatures. <laughs> we think it's a top 100, right? It's like 150. I thought, or it, was, top I thought 50? It, was, it was 50 of the metal and like 100, 100 of the bones. Yeah, something like that. It's like our, it's, it, it, there's <laughs> a skew for it. I mean. We're so prepared. We are so prepared around here. You know what? I, you just send the email. Tell people that you want all the goods and then they'll know. Yeah, okay. They'll know. Just, just make sure you, you put it in there. Just in hashtag email. all the goods. And look, back to my joke. I guarantee <laughs> you, I guarantee you, every one of you watching is bitching about my joke. You're going to be repeating it to your friends at dinner. Well, maybe you're not going out to dinner tonight, but. Next time you go out to dinner, whatever that is, Look, you're going to repeat that joke and they're going to laugh. I'm sticking with bare feet. Yeah, that one was uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. Because it's don't know. unbearable and you can barely stand it. See? So those are easy. This, <laughs> mine, mine was a handcrafted joke. It was cute. It was it, cute. Thank you. Okay. Um, there you go. 
Rignus 44. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think that's it. Matt, thanks for joining in and, oh, and helping me get through this was, Bones 5 you know, live update. It was fun. And then uh, now I'm going to go type all this stuff up, sans joke, and put it in the uh, Bones 5 Kickstarter update. You'll all get your emails on that. Um, um, we hope, you know, again, thanks for watching. We hope you guys are all staying safe. Um, I'm still waiting for the joke. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Staying home, staying safe, keeping your hands washed, all that kind of fun stuff for during these uncertain times. Um, but we're going to be here for you. We'll be broadcasting or streaming, broadcasting. We'll be streaming next week. Um, all our shows are going to be on schedule as planned. So, as of today, uh, yes. Yeah. And if anything changes, we will let you guys know here uh, as soon as possible. So, again, we appreciate it. Again, Matt. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Okay. It, it was it was fun again. Right. Thanks, Collins, for uh, all the technical support. Sure, we'll, we'll call it that. Do okay. some do some waving, and then we'll raid. All right, who are we raiding? Raiding. Uh, we're gonna raiding. raid Mr. Jacob Jansen. Ooh, all right, cool. His monk just came out. You did today. You yeah. can buy Jacob Jansen's monk today. Let him know that you guys, when you hit his uh, his place, that hey, I bought your monk today. Yes, the bones five uh, bones paint set number six came out today. We had the four metal minis come out today. All the individual paints come out today. A lot of cool stuff. So, Rainbow Sculptor, I will go check my messages right now. Right. Again, again, thanks. Stay safe. We'll see you guys next week.